Hey everybody and welcome to our meeting for what are we, October the 14th. Um, I'm super excited to be on because we are going to run through a whole bunch of goodies for you. Um, we're going to actually be talking about sampling today. It's something that we don't do as often uh, but still need to keep it actively going. And then we're also going to go over chapter three and four of getting over yourself as well. We're just going to do a quick recap. Um, we did go over a ton, a ton of stuff in Dawn's call. It was absolutely fantastic if you guys were able to get online for it. Um, but what I wanted to go over with you guys as well, first of all, is for our Facebook group. So for the Inspired Drip by Drop educational page, is I really want to keep it going active. Um, I always find it's the exact same people week after week that are either commenting or um, looking at things. So I really, really want to get it opened up. There are almost 550 people in that group. Okay, that's huge. I don't want to keep on seeing the same 20 people. Okay, the group has got tons and tons of people on it. Um, so I really, really, really want to start getting it more active. Um, so meaning that if you guys have posts that are up, that comment on them, like them, tag your people in them. If I put up a post about um, inflammation, then tag your people. Say, hey, Sarah, I thought this post would be absolutely fantastic for you. Check it out. Okay, that kind of stuff. Um, if I posted up something about an oil, I can't wait to use it. Okay, just like when I see your guys' post on Facebook or on Instagram, I'm still trying to either like them or put some kind of comment in because then it's getting other people attracted to it. You know what I mean? Um, if you put on something like wild orange, you can put a comment in, I love adding wild orange in my water every day. Or I love diffusing wild orange with peppermint first thing in the morning. So it starts to give them ideas, right? Because there's so many people in there it's not just my people, it's your people, it's the whole community that we've been growing together. So really let's get them kind of going on it, okay? Um, you guys should be checking your phones uh, morning <laughs> and nights. So just keep an eye on that as well. And um, also, so the other things is that keeping it very, very positive. So while we're saying, okay, if you guys can, um, what's your most favorite oil to use? you guys can comment on it. We're going to post convention. Who else is coming in with us? Okay. Um, don't, if you guys can't go, say, I can't wait to come. Right? You're dying to go. I can't wait to get carpooling. We're going to get it all arranged. It's going to be amazing. Right? Because then other people are thinking that way as well. Right? We don't want them to be thinking other ideas. So even if you guys can't go, you guys all should be going. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. The one last year was absolutely amazing, and it's right in Mississauga. We're not even going far, right? You didn't have to drive down to Texas, okay? So it's so close to home. Everybody should be going, and it's free. So I put up the post. I can't even remember how many people I tagged in it. Almost 40 people I tagged in it. You guys should be doing the same thing. This is for users. It's for sharers. It's for builders. It's for everybody. So try to get as many people shoved into your car and driven down there to have a good time. If you guys need help arranging carpooling, then let me know, we'll figure it out. Um, I will have an ask, but I'm gonna take my mom's car so I got more space in my car as well. We'll figure it out. Um, just make sure that those kind of things are going in because there's no reason why we have over 500 people and it's the same 15, 20 people, right? So let's really ramp it up. Um, that's what it's for, it's for the community. You guys can also ask questions on there, keep them, non obviously non-business but say i have a sore shoulder what would be the best oils do you know what i mean it starts to get people thinking more um so that's literally how i'm going to leave that part of it i want to get into sampling so sampling is something that we used to do for every single person we met uh this kind of went out last summer when we started booking more one-on-one -on -one appointments but sampling still needs to be actively done because say you're talking to somebody who has a headache, you're not gonna be like, why don't we book an appointment for next week? It doesn't make sense. You guys have peppermint, you have deep blue oil on you, use it. You have somebody who has a stomach upset. Same thing, we're not booking an appointment next week. Here's some digestin or some peppermint. 
Okay, so what I do is I actually have, I got this case from My Essential Business, but you can probably check Amazon and get it there. And this is what it is. It's literally the size of a CD case. I'm going to keep in my bag with me at all times. My plan is to restock it because it's obviously quite low. Um, I don't overly stock it because again, it's not, we don't sample nearly as often as we used to, but you should still have samples on you. Okay. Um, what you want to do is you want to sample your most heightened oils, right? You want to do the oils that get you the most acting, high acting oils. Um, so we're not going to go and sample lemon oil. Okay. So we're looking at things like lavender and peppermint, um, past tense, breathe. Okay. And what I've actually done, we're going to have to figure out how to put this on. It's probably going to have to go on Google doc is I spent a lot of time doing these and they are little papers to go with them, but I did them on Excel and what it is, it's two pages, but when you print it front and back, the full sheet make cutouts so that you can do both sides. Okay, and each oil has a sheet to go with it. Um, this one's peppermint, so it literally says what peppermint is, how it's kind of used, so toothpaste, chewing gum, oral health, but it helps with headaches and digestive issues, respiratory function. So when you give somebody peppermint, they're actually learning about all the different things that oil can do. Plus it gives you um, different ways to use it, and then some safety, and then contact info. So all you guys have to do is open up the file, change your contact information, save it and print it. Okay, so we're gonna have to figure out a way to get these Excel sheets on. Um, but the most popular used ones that I have is peppermint, lavender is huge. I do have them for serenity um, because some people are not lavender fans. So serenity would kind of be like stage two for sleeping, right? Past tense, so for tension headaches, most definitely on guard. We have digest zen and clary calm. So clary calm, um, not one I sample a whole lot. I think they only keep one in here on average. Don't dilute it down. It does need to be pure. Just pop off the roller and get about eight drops in. That's about good enough. And you can use your Clary Calm. Um, breathe or your Easy Air and then Wild Orange. So more the Wild Orange for that uplifting mood. And you guys, samples. Remember, we are only sampling people. We are not their suppliers, right? So really, really minimize on your sampling. You should only be sampling one oil, two at most. And when you guys are putting your oils in the samples, six to eight drops. Again, it's only a sample. And if they're only using one to two drops and the sample vials, the droppers are so much smaller, this is going to last a long time. So you can literally see that's all that's in there. Okay. So it shouldn't be a lot. So six to eight drops. Um, if you guys want, you guys can do the deep blue rub. I normally keep at least one or two of these in here as well. Um, I just prefer the rub a lot more to the oil. I'll sample the oil for headaches, but if it's aches and pains, I'm more definitely gonna use this one first, okay? Or the peppermint. I mean, you guys are gonna know your clients and who you're talking to with what's gonna best fit. But then I just keep everything in here. And when you are sampling them, uh, the biggest thing you want to do is this kind of line. And it's, if I, would you? Okay, so if I, would you? So if I give you a sample of peppermint, would you try it for your, your head? If I gave you a sample of lavender, would you try it tonight before you go to bed? Okay. And again, we're always, always asking for contact information. So just because your handout sheets have your phone number on it, that sample doesn't leave your hand until you have their contact information. 
Okay, so you're literally talking to them and say, okay, so um, respiratory issues. So perfect. I have an oil that's actually called Breather Easy Air, and that's specifically for what it's for. It helps to open up your airways. So if I gave you a sample of this Breathe, would you try it tonight? Okay, and then you can kind of hold on to it. Okay, perfect. So what I would actually love to do is I'm actually just want to follow up with you tomorrow to make sure that you're using it in the best ways and that I can just kind of see what we're going with at that point. Right, so just I, let me get your contact information and then I'll give you your sample. So use the same scripting as before um, just to get those um, brought in a little bit easier. But the sampling should always be there if needed. If you have somebody who has an issue, make them put it on right there in front of you. You have a headache? Perfect. Here's your peppermint. Here. Put it right here on you right now. Right here. Or try the back of your neck. Okay. Don't make them wait till they go home. And also because people put it in their bags and it gets lost. Okay. So if they're right there in front of you, make sure they're just putting it on one time. Okay, I'm just gonna unmute you guys. Do you guys have any questions so far? I'm sampling. That's literally all I was gonna cover on so far. On this team, is that I want you to think about this the same way that you would speak with kids, okay? Most of you guys on this team either have kids or work with kids and I literally just had this conversation with Ariana tonight and it's always, you push them, you encourage them. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Ariana, say it. Yes, I can. Try, try again. My daughter has been trying to whistle for over a month. Try again. Mommy, I can't do it. Try again. Okay. So it's the same thing. So it's very, very funny when we become adults, that goes away right? That, that drive is like, I did it. It didn't work. I'm done. No, because if you were talking to your kids or your grandkids, no, that wouldn't be acceptable. So why is it acceptable now that we're adults? It doesn't make sense. Um, so really just bring that up that it's not coming in here. It's not our failure. Um, it's not that if somebody comes in and they say, you know, what, I'm really not interested in, in doTERRA. I'm not interested in essential oils. It's not my thing. That's not on us, right? And we are not going to get everybody into doTERRA. It's a matter of fact. And you guys need to know that right off the bat. Not everybody's into this. Not everybody's into alternative healthcare, and that's fine, right? It's just move on, right, to the next person who is. So remember, we're not bringing the negativity in here. We're moving forward, okay? And at the next part of this that I absolutely love that came up, and this was something that we were actually taught in, home, in homeopathic school. We had a homeopathic practitioner who was actually had a background in business and he taught us a business course. And it's the part that men put a value where women do not put a value. Okay, and they'll be like, okay, well, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna book this appointment. I'm gonna get you this. I'm gonna make you this. We're going to do this, but I'm only going to charge you five bucks. So is that okay? And you're going to ask where with men, men put a value on things. So they're like, I've done your consult here. It's $105. Right? This is something that we were actually taught on how, again, it's the wiring of how we are. And I can tell you, especially I did this last week with a client. And she was having very, very sick clients. Um, I gave her a whole bunch of samples. What am I doing? Even while I was doing it, I was like, what am I doing? But I still kept on doing it. Right? And I know you guys do it. I know some of you guys who are live on this call do it all the time. Because that's who we are. The giving, the giving, the giving. Right? But this is where, woman, we have to put a value on things. Okay, so when you guys are giving out your samples and your roller bottles and everything else, there needs to be a value that goes with it. And this is really why um, men are very, very successful in doing this, is because they can already 
they don't have that part. They don't have the emotional factor that we do. Okay. Um, so just to bring that up, so you guys keep an eye on your samples, especially because we just spoke about sampling. Um, but those, and I saw some business cards of some people that might actually fit doTERRA. I'll grab those business cards and I bring them home and put them in pile. So if I have a quiet day, I've already got contacts right here that are just waiting. Okay. Those ones actually do need to be coming in here. And I'll tell you why as we're going to be getting into this. Um, but just remember that whenever you guys are meeting people, when you come home and you've been sampling somebody and you got that name and phone number, put it into your list. Right before you go to bed, it needs to be kind of that routine or add it into your box or add it into however you're keeping track of your contacts. Um, always put a star beside your dream team. So the people who you would absolutely die to have working with you on this team, they should have a big star. Um, what actually came up for those of you guys who are not using the box and you guys want to use an app, it's called Enroll Pro, sorry, Enroll Pro. Guys, I've never used it, but go check it out if that's kind of your thing. Um, but that there's an app for it for kind of keeping track of your contacts as well. And what I was just saying about having my business card sitting here, and I'll tell you this flat out, is that the way that doTERRA has been growing for so long is that the people who are on your chicken list or the people that you're holding off on contacting, somebody else will contact them. Guarantee you somebody else will contact them. And they are going to end up on somebody else's team somewhere else. Someone who is looking for my front line, she's with a young living. My bad. I didn't want to talk to her. I was new to meeting all the moms after school. I didn't want to push doTERRA. And guess what? Right, she's actually one of my closest friends, someone who actually helps me watch Ariana, and she's working with my young living. Great. Okay. Uh, one from last week that I had gave in a portfolio to, guess what? Somebody else had contacted her first. Okay, so just keep that in mind. It's not saying that it's, the market's not saturated at all, but people are active. Okay, so just really, really keep an eye on it that you guys are, don't hold back. What have you guys got to lose? That somebody says no, not now, no problem, right? How about I just touch base with you? Why don't I touch base with you in the new year? Oh, okay, that sounds fine. Perfect, and then you put them in your little box for January, February. Simple, remember, no just means not now, right? And I can actually tell you that one of the things that I've been working on is following up with my clients that have already been enrolled. And that was my job this past week. So I find that I haven't been keeping in contact with them. And I have had tons of them saying, I meant to call you. Because they, they're low on their product and they need to put orders and they don't know how to use their accounts anymore. I'm meeting with one tomorrow, right? So it's member just to keep in contact with these people, even if they enrolled and got something started, but they never did oil camp or they didn't ever did anything else. Be in contact with them because it will come back up. Just like your people that are saying, no, you have no idea what's going on with them right now. They could have a sick parent. They could have a sick kid. They could have, they just lost their job. You don't know what's going on. Check back with them for five months, six months. Just move that card over. Okay. Um, also with that as well. So the book goes over a list. She gives you a whole list, an amazing list of people from different categories that you guys should be contacting. And she suggested you should do four contacts from each category, which is absolutely amazing. What Dawn did not cover in the meeting is that this is very, very, very important that you need a very diverse team. And this works for you all year round because if you only have teachers, come the summer, they're all gone. They're on vacation. Or you have nurses that are always working shift work in here and there and all over the place. You really need to have a diverse team so you're busy all year round booking consults, doing classes, having hostesses. So really having a broad based team, not just moms and babies, not just um, working class, right? It kind of needs to be all over the place. So really look at the list that she gives you and start 
to work that way. And her list is very good. It actually started to make me think, oh, I didn't even try those people. Real estate agents didn't even think about those. Huh. Right? How many people are they in contact every, every single day? How much would it be for a real estate agent to get a diffuser and put it in their open house with some wild orange? What? Right? That'd be amazing for their open houses. Okay, so really look at the list because that's there for you guys as well. And the other one, be presentable. Guys, I sucked at this. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. So you guys know I worked for Coca-Cola for eight years. I was at home for six. I would drop Ariane off in my pajamas and I would pick okay. Remember, every single time you leave the house, you represent your company. You represent your business. That does not mean that you have to be dress pants and your hair done and your makeup done. No, I still don't wear makeup when I go out, but my hair is brushed. I look presentable. I do still wear my joggers because such is life, but I'm washed up nicely. I'm clean that if you were to run into somebody, you are appropriate to be speaking to them to book a consult or to give them information and you don't look like a smuck. Right. I think even Shelly, I think you came over to my house one day before you were a builder and I was in my pajamas and it was like, uh, -uh. even in my own house, it's like I pull on where they are. So if you're talking to somebody and they're saying that their husband doesn't get time off work, um, they're looking for a second job because they can't afford things. They don't go on vacations. They have staycations. Maybe you're looking more at the business side, but if you have somebody who's got deep, deep health concerns, um, chronic issues, then maybe we're looking at more oil side. So you guys don't be afraid to talk about the business. Okay. And the more you talk about it, the more comfortable you will be as you go on. Right. The first one's always the hardest after that, you're good to go. And you don't have to be a pro at it. Most of everything's already in the group. You guys already have scripting. Um, you already have the questions to go through for the business consult. It's all there for you guys. You guys have questions, ask, but don't be afraid to talk to people about the business. And one of her leading lines is, maybe you should look at what I do. How simple is that? Something so simple, it's not even like it's hard to say. Maybe you should look at what I do. Okay, so that's that simple, literally just talking about the business. Um, chapter four was also part of your homework. So knowing your story and revising it. Um, so I'm going to put up the post so that you guys can post that homework underneath as well. Um, Shelly, just copy yours because I already saw yours posted. So just copy it over. Um, your story should be 45 seconds to one minute. It should be uh, your company story or your product story. So you should actually have two of them as well. It has to have um, part of your why, but it's not all your why. Okay. Um, but really go through that part. And we actually talked a bit on the role playing that we did was hitting the pain point. That literally is a whole class that I am dying to actually get into. This is what I was working with Dawn last week on. Um, so I'm going to leave it as that, but we're going to do that later on as well. And then going forward, this is actually something new. So when I spoke to you guys about always being ready for learning more and developing as we all develop along the way, like I said, we used to sample every single person. Now we don't sample basically we book consults, um, with the business builders and getting back the initial investments. I actually thought that was a huge, great idea that Dawn had brought up. So most people who come into the business want to make back their initial investments right off the bat, right? You don't want to be forking out extra money every single month. Um, that's not why you start a business is to fork out more money. You're supposed to be making more money. So how to get ready and to get excited for the business and to start covering your costs quickly is to build belief and to build that motivation. Okay, 
So with that motivation, and that this was never done before, and also remember that most of your business builders have never been business people before. Right here, okay? Wasn't happening. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna start with friends and family, but what you're gonna actually speak to them about is getting them to use the product, to order the product, to actually help you out a little bit more. Um, so I actually took some more notes on here. So, so, and this is actually why I don't work with my number ones. So when you're talking with your friends and family and you're talking to them about what you've done, so you're so excited that you finally got into business and you've asked them. And what do they say? They want to see how things are going and how they're going to work out for you before they get started with anything, right? This, is, this was completely my family, okay? So what we're gonna do, and we're gonna change how we're gonna ask this of our friends and family. Okay, so we're gonna kind of tweak this. We're gonna get them to try the product so that we can get more feedback, okay? You need feedback and you need to know more and to have more experiences with the oils and with the supplements. So you need to know them better and so that you can talk to more people about them. Okay, so if you're talking to your friends and family and you told them that you're starting a new business and that you're really excited about it and said, would you support me by buying a month's worth of products and trying it out so you can help me with my marketing? Would you be willing to help me out? So chances are, if this is a close family member, a friend, that yeah, they'd be willing to help you out. You're only asking for them to buy a month's worth of product. You're still gonna teach them how to do it. You're still gonna put them into oil camp and everything else, but it's that simple. So would you support me by ordering a month's worth of product and trying it out? So this way you can really help me with um, my marketing. Would you be helpful and help me out? And what this is going to create, this is going to create more yeses for you and more product volume in your first month or two, right? Going right into it. And then you have more faith in the business because it's going to be growing quicker. And honestly, who's used the essential oils? Who doesn't use them again? Right? And then the other thing, you guys, make sure that um, this team has actually been very good as well. Post conventions, November the 1st. You guys get down to it. It's in Mississauga. It is so close. You guys have to come and it's free. You guys have to do is get there. And we're going to be doing card pooling. So make sure you guys are coming in. It is so motivating. You have customers. You guys already have people enrolled. Get them down there. Okay, if they're not in this area, then there's a whole convention tour going on. Okay, so get them to one of them. Again, it's free all over the place. Okay, do you guys have any questions before we finish up? I already unmuted you guys. No, I'm just so sad I can't go on the first. <laughs> Can you make another one, like a different location? Oh, maybe. I'll have to check. I don't know how close the other ones are, though. Or do some rescheduling. Yeah. It's only a couple hours. No, I'll be up in Port Elgin. I'll be out of town. Oh, well. Only a couple hours. You schedule a day. Don't say, and it's it was so Oh, for one of the others. I'll check to, yeah, I'll check to see where the other ones are. For this one. Right, it's so close. We went last year, we did a carpool of wait, four. We did carpooling of four last year and went down. It was really, really good. So But I won't be in town. <laughs> I know I'm saying reschedule, you're going out of town. I can't. I can't. It's a friend's sixty fifth birthday. Okay, that one. Dominique, questions? <laughs> Shelly? No. No, no questions. Okay. I'm gonna close it off on here. What do we got? Um Shelly staying on with me now? Sure. That makes sense. Uh, tomorrow. Uh, Dominique, I'll talk to you at 9.30. Yes, ma'am. And Joan, I'll talk to you about 10.30-ish. Perfect. Okay. 
I'll see you guys. Okay, good night, everybody. Thanks, Judith. Good night. Have a good night. Take care.